here we go. This one's, uh, I bet everybody this year will really love this question. Because uh, it has G parts to it. <laughs> one time, uh, one of the faculty had one question for the final, but it had like 15 that's parts horrible. or something. I thought it was very creative, but that's what everybody else thought. Like, All the students thought. Like, if you don't like, know A, how are you supposed to know? It was so creative, though. Okay. okay. Is, which one has a greater pH? One or two? Beaker one or beaker two? Beaker one. Beaker one. Why? It's a base. It's a base. You don't even have to do a calculation. It's a base. Is either one or two a buffer? No. No. They're just... There's not even... Yeah, they're just chemicals. There's nothing else in there. Okay. B. Find the pOH of beaker number one. How do we, how would we do that? What method? Ice, Ice. Ice table. Yeah. Ice. Uh, so just the real bare bones basic of that one. Cn minus plus H two O, and you can just look, see the work on there. But you write the reaction out. This is a K what? KB. B. How would you find that? Table or with KW. Yeah, KB is not in the table. KW over K. Yeah, KB is KW over K. Only KA is listed in the table. Okay, so then you go ice. This is one. Ignore this. Zero, zero, plus X, plus X, uh, minus X, one minus X, X, and X. Use the quadratic. Oh, you don't need the quadratic. Make an assumption. Uh, you're going to end up getting for x 4.02 times 10 to the minus 3. So pOH will equal 2.39. Is that what you would expect less than 7? Yeah. Yeah, yeah pOH less than 7 is a base. Is it what? Do you have to check it? No, you can if you want. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Dr. Anderley? Yeah. Um, just a quick question. When you give the assumption, when do we know when we the assumption will work for almost any weak acid or weak base, uh, especially if the K uh, is 10 to the minus 3 or smaller. And this one, KB, is 10 to the minus 5. So, yeah, it'll work. The formula, there's two ways you can do it, the percent ionization, or you can say the concentration of the original species divided by K. If that's greater than 100, it'll also work. Okay, five. Find the pH of this. Okay, find the pH of this. So, same thing. HCN plus H2O goes to CN minus plus H3O plus ice. This time you use the Ka. This is one. It looks almost exactly the same. Minus x plus x plus x plus x x one minus x. Same thing. You solve through. You're gonna get for x this time uh, 2.49 times 10 to the minus 5. pH will end up being 4.6. Is that okay? Less than 7? They're both less than 7. It's okay because this one's pH. pH less than 7 means acid. All right, next page. Part D. Okay, this one you could do in your head, but I actually wrote out the numbers here. If you mix two things, what's going to happen? If they're equal volume, what happens to the molarity? It goes down. Down by a half. Okay, so you could just write divided by two or do it in your head. Okay, is that a buffer when one and two are mixed? Yes. Yes, obviously if I'm asking you more questions, it has to be. <laughs>